Exchange of Elixirs, and I want to introduce the St. Louis Mint Julep, which was created by Tom Bolock. So I'm going to give you a little background about Tom Bolock, and I'm also going to describe what is in the drink. While I'm doing that, I'm going to give you a little history about Tom Bolock. All right, so we're going to squeeze lemon and lime into our mixing glass, and then we're going to put eight mint leaves in here. Once we muddle it, we're going to add ice, add the grenadine, add gin, shake it, serve it, garnish with a mint leaf, and delicious. So as we start Black History Month, that's why I wanted to talk about Tom Bullock, okay? He was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1872. Both of his parents were former slaves and his father actually fought in the Union Army. Once he got old enough to work, he started as a bellboy at the Pendennis Club in St. Louis, which was a private elite club, like it was top notch. And especially as an African-American person working, yes. As he was working as a bellboy, he learned his bartending skills while working at the club. Like I said, very, top-notch club. So he created the St. Louis Mint Julep. There's a lot of variations of the Mint Julep. There's many contributors to the Mint Julep, but this is special because it's St. Louis style, which is where, you know, he's from. So, um, and not only was this such a popular drink, even President Theodore Roosevelt enjoyed this drink as well. So there's gonna be a description of the where I've got the story from in the description box below so definitely check it out it's very very interesting um so not only was tom bolock part of it but also john dabney there's um other contributors like there's a mixologist club that i'm going to talk about you know future um our, our howie so yeah definitely definitely something i'm sorry not our howie our, our bowie yeah so anyway as working as the bellboy, then bartender, he saved up enough money to pay his way out of freedom for him and his wife. Pretty interesting. He not only paid his way, he ended up writing a book too called The Ideal Bartender, which was the first black African-American book published in 1917. After that, he let me retired, had a low profile, and died in 1964, but he, his legacy, of course, lives on, especially in St. Louis, so that's definitely a place that I do want to go and check out, because I think that'll be really, really amazing to see that. Never knew anything about that, but, all right, so, okay, normally a julep glass looks something like this. Fill it with ice. We garnish with a mint leaf. Stir it up. And voila. Now that we're done. Now there is a old Tom gin. It's Heyman's old time gin that I could not find. Old Tom gin that I could not find. So I just used the Tangeray that has a hint of lime. But Heyman's Old Tom style gin is what you're supposed to use. Also, crushed ice. So that would make your drink complete. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Happy Black History Month, and I have more to come. I definitely got to give a shout out and credit to my cameraman and editors. <laughs> Yeah. Here, wanna try it, Tejon? Yeah. Here's my drink. Okay. Thanks again for watching and until next time. Cheers. I'm her editor. Yeah.